Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I am finally taking a look and reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger Helmet. So this is relatively overdue. So this was announced back on May 19th, which is actually my birthday, alongside the Power Lance, which is something I took a look at back in August. Now I have been procrastinating on buying the helmets, uh, specifically this one and the Lord Draken helmet that was released as a GameStop and later fan channel release because they upped the helmet prices starting with this one. So now going forward, the helmet prices are $89.99 to begin with, which is pretty pricey. And a lot of times they go on clearance, and this one is no exception. I think it is still on clearance, I believe, on the GameStop website most of the time, and also on the Hasbro Toy Shop eBay page for like $67 or something, which is actually not too bad for this. Uh, but it's basically just furthering your Lightning Collection helmets. If you have white, red, pink, Zed, Draken, this one, it's just another one to get, and it goes very nicely with the Lance. Uh, but I do like it a lot. It's our first plastic repackaging Lightning Collection helmet that was released, because uh, this one actually did end up releasing, I believe, before Drakens. They came out very similar time frames over the summer. Uh, but I really like the box. I still do really miss Tom Whalen artwork right here, but the artwork on here is really pretty. I love this kind of like airbrush sort of look that we have for the Blue Ranger, holding the Lance there. Obviously, as you can see here, 18 plus plastic free packaging, Hasbro logo. You get that kind of same kind of look that we now have on the figures with this kind of white background with a render of the project right there. It says it takes four magnets. I can't remember. There was some kind of discrepancy with that. I talked about in Lightning Storm where I think the box like pictures show that it was going to have two magnets, but the actual toy has four, just like all the other ones have. So it's one of those weird things. But on the other side here, which I'm zoomed out as far as I can, and I still can't fit this box in the frame, uh, but we have the nice render of the helmet there. It says Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger Helmet, and you have the Mighty Morphin logo. And it does match the new plastic free very nicely. And then there's kind of the full artwork there, which like I said, that looks gorgeous. I really do like this airbrushed Mighty Morphin Blue look here. I have no idea who the artist is for this one. I think they've been kind of getting different artists to do Lightning Collection packaging now, after they've gotten rid of Tom's art. But this is gorgeous. I really do like that quite a bit. And then at the top, we have just a picture of the helmet render there and the Lightning Collection logo. And at the bottom, we just have uh, this barcode thing here because I think my, my dad got this for me for Christmas and I think he actually got this on Amazon. And you have a plastic free packaging logo and stuff there. So there it is. It is a fan channel release. Uh, so it's not exclusive anywhere like that, but you're not going to find it like at a Target or a Walmart. But it's even strange that it's up on Amazon, but I believe it's from a third party seller there. But you'll be able to find this in GameStop stores and on GameStop's website, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Hasbro Pulse, whatever it may be. Now, this is just an empty box. On the back here, obviously, we have the helmets on its stand. You have it looking inside, like on top of the head there. It's so very similar to kind of how we have the accessories photos for the figures. We have kind of not really an accessories photo, but kind of a demonstration photo there. So it's 10 inches tall. It is a little bit smaller than the red and white helmets. It's somewhat comparable in size to the Pink Ranger one, which never fit me, unfortunately. So, and this one doesn't fit me very well either. I don't know why this one is tinier, uh, but this is an empty box here. I have already taken it out and it just had a bunch of cardboard in there and some tissue paper and such like that. Did it even have instructions? It did have instructions. So we do have instructions in there right there. We actually, we can zoom in on those ones, but to have better quality, because whenever I zoom out on the camera, it's always really bad quality. Mighty Morphin Blue, and of course it just shows you, hey, you can wear it. It has the adjustable strap thing and all that kind of stuff. So there it is. It's the same kind of stand that we've had with every other helmet where you get the base, two little tubes on the top piece, and you just set the helmet on top. So there it is. Now, of course, since this is giant, it's not going to fit. Well, it will fit in this display station, but of course I have to show it being on my head. So we're going to move over to my face cam video setup to take a look at the rest of this helmet. Here it is. So here is the Blue Ranger helmet. It's a little lopsided there on the stand, but... It's wow, well, that's even worse. But <laughs> there it is. It's very nice looking. If you can actually get it onto the stand, not lopsided. There we go. It's also very reflective. You can see my whole computer screen there. Uh, but it looks really nice. I, I am very happy with this as a display piece. Uh, the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger helmet, the Tricera Ranger helmet from Jew Ranger, has always been one of my favorite designs here. The stand, nothing super special. It's exactly what you expect it to be. Though there have been some quality control problems with this one, where some people have not been getting the sticker on the stand, which is very odd but it does just you know rest on there it's the same kind of stand we've had for all the other helmets we just have the two piece tube the kind of stand on the base very flimsy kind of plastic but it works for what it needs to do it holds the helmets on there and here it is which like i said i think looks really nice i love the silver kind of metallic silver that we have on the horns what well, is metallic silver and the eyes look good and the black lining detail which kind of goes all the way around it looks really sharp. I really do like this one a lot. There have been some people's quality control problems with some chipping paint and everything. Mine looks pretty good. Maybe There could be maybe like a slight little chip on my silver there, but 
it's not any kind of capacity to where I'm not happy with the finished product of this. The only thing I am kind of unhappy about is the scaling of it. It's like, it's not as big as the as the red and white ranger helmets, and I don't know why. Like, it should be the same kind of male helmet sculpt, or size at least. Like, I get why the pink ranger one was smaller, because it's supposed to be for more of like a female head sculpt. But like, or I keep calling it a female head sculpt, like that isn't just a human's person. A human's person? A human person head. But like, it's just one of those things where like, I don't know exactly know why it's smaller. The interior is exactly the same as you would expect it to be. It has the same kind of headgear piece, and it has the little dial thing here, which my hand's kind of blocking it right there where you can turn the dial and adjust the size of it to make it tighter or less tighter on your head and that does help of course but right now i have it about we're about to get there at the highest setting it can go which is right there it can't turn it anymore uh, you do have the magnets so you have two magnets there and you have where are they or actually no wait you, that's what it was you have two magnets but the box says that you have four but it's definitely only two yeah it's 100 percent only two magnets and then we'll kind of bring the head piece down and close it up but yeah it's definitely only two magnets even though the box says four now the red and white ranger helmets i can wear this with my glasses on we'll, we'll try it here i know that my hair usually gets caught in this and like it does go on but like oh man yeah the, the hair but like it doesn't it doesn't want to move up as much like i'm probably gonna have to take my glasses off because like it is definitely smaller and we'll kind of try to tuck my hair in there Let's see how much can you actually hear me or not? Oh, yeah, that is oh, that is tighter. And like the headgear piece, like it, it just doesn't want to move very well, or it's like trying to move too much. Like it, the, the the plastic piece is like on my eyes, and it kind of hurts. These have always been difficult to kind of line up when you have them on. Yeah, it's just not really happening. <laughs> so now it could be the hair, obviously, obviously also could be the glasses. So we'll, well, here we go, helmet hair. But we'll try it with the glasses off. You know where I can barely see anything. See, it's like you're waiting for like a certain click that just isn't really, isn't really happening. I think we got it. So, well, that see it popped open again. Like, it doesn't. It's it's tight and like there's also like you can definitely see my chin here. It doesn't cover as much of this as you want it to. It's definitely a little tight on my temples <laughs> on the side of my head. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know how well it even looks on camera. You can probably definitely see my eyes, which I should probably be looking more up at the camera. But like. It does kind of look cool, but like it just doesn't feel like it's going to stay on there. I definitely don't really want to wear it for a long period of time. Uh, and it's definitely my least favorite of the ones that I've had to try to force onto my head. Because like the, the Red and White Ranger ones fit me, you know, you kind of have to finagle them a little bit too, but they fit me relatively well. The Zed one you just drop right on your head, so that's easy enough. But like, once you get it, it's nice, but like, I can also feel it very much against the back of my neck. Just kind of rubbing up against there. It's You can definitely tell that it's smaller. And uh, yeah, it's starting to really kind of hurt the sides of my head, so we're going to stop that. Yeah, it, it's a shame, you know, like, I mean, obviously I buy these mainly to be a display piece. So in that regard, it's going to be perfectly fine. And like, I mean, that's what the Pink Ranger one is for me. Oh boy, I can see again. So like, that's what the Pink Ranger one is for me. So in that regard, like, it's not that big of a deal because I am just going to put this on a shelf for it to look nice, but you're going to want to wear it, you know? That's kind of one of the main things you're going to kind of want to do with it, and it's kind of difficult to do so unless you just have a really tiny head or or are a kid, I suppose, as well, too. But, like, it is 18 plus on the box. But it does look pretty if you get one with good quality control. If you can get it for a little bit cheaper, it's a very nice display piece. I do recommend it. I do like that you can wear these helmets, and I do like getting these because, like, you know, Bandai in their legacy collection never did blue, they never did pink, they never did yellow and black. I've already leaked to uh, leaked to you that yellow is coming next year. We already have white and pink and red, uh, so we're getting them. You know, we're getting there. We're getting pretty close. We just need yellows to release, and then we need black and green to have all seven Mighty Morphin, and that will look really nice on a display shelf. But yeah, sometimes it's just a little trickier to wear it. But hopefully, the other ones. I don't remember how big the Draken one is. I think that might be a smaller one like this one maybe but hopefully like yellow well yellow will probably be like pink but hopefully whenever they do black and green to be more like the white and red size and not the blue size because it just doesn't work as well and with that that's going to do it for my video review of the power news lightning collection blue ranger helmets from mighty morphin another really nice display piece that i keep saying 
but it's just a little difficult to wear, but I can recommend it if you can get it cheaper than the $90 price point there. And for any fans of the Blue Ranger, or if you bought the Blue Ranger Power Lance, or whatever it may be, this is definitely going to be a must-have for your collection. It does look really, really nice. And I can pretty much recommend it just as much as any of the other helmets. These are cool things that they do pretty regularly for the Lightning Collection at this point, giving us roleplay helmets out there. And it's kind of been a mainstay ever since the first year. And it's cool to see them continue here, so this is just another good one. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at PR. You can also check out a bunch of other helmet reviews of all the other ones from the Lightning Collection, except for the Draken one so far, on the channel. And until then, I will see you all later.